I'd like to continue to talk about the benefits we humans can receive from animals. Specifically for me, the benefits I've received from this dog. I was raised in a rural community. Farming, hunting, and outdoor activities were a large part of my childhood. My dad and older brother taught me to respect wildlife and animals, that I should always make sure I never allow any animal to needlessly suffer. Throughout my childhood, we had many pets and dogs of various sorts, hunting dogs, outside dogs, and house dogs. One of my earliest memories as a toddler is sitting on the back of one of my dad's bird dogs, Bandit, as dad led Bandit and I around the yard like horse and rider. And somewhere there is a picture of me and Bandit when I'm about two and a half. Bandit and I are in the front yard sharing an ice cream cone. But despite these close interactions with, with animals, dogs, even cats, but don't tell Prospect, and other animals growing up, it was not until two years ago before I started to recognize fully the companionship and unconditional love that animals can provide. Two years ago tomorrow, April 17, 2009, I met Prospect for the first time. And as I've mentioned, I'd always been around and liked dogs. But as an adult, I never gave any serious thought to having a pet until that moment I first met Prospect. In my mind, I was always too busy working long hours, putting myself through college and graduate school, and advancing my career. I made little extra time for myself, let alone time for properly training and caring for an animal. But a few months before I met Prospect, my life had completely changed. Everything I thought had been important in my life was gone. And though not by my choice, when I met Prospect, I had plenty of time for a, for a pet and a furry companion. As I walked into that industrial St. Louis office on a Friday afternoon, Prospect ran from behind the desk. He greeted me, and he changed my life forever. I learned he was a stray, that he had been the office mascot for a few weeks, and if the office staff couldn't locate his human that weekend, they were going to try to find him a permanent home the following week. Over the next few days, it was learned Prospect was microchipped from the Humane Society. His human was contacted, but that human did not want Prospect back. Apparently, Prospect had already been rescued once through the Humane Society, but the human that had adopted him was either unable or unwilling to fulfill the responsibilities of taking care of a pet and giving Prospect the proper time and attention. Following Wednesday, I picked up Prospect, and he became not only my roommate, but eventually my best friend. We started exploring area parks and other places I wouldn't have otherwise enjoyed. And as I was adjusting to the new challenges in my life, uh, new new career, I often found myself driving several hundred miles each week, and Prospect enjoyed the trips with me, and I enjoyed those trips a lot more by having Prospect in the passenger seat. I used to laugh at my sister when she wouldn't stop at certain places because they were just not good spots for her dogs to get out and take a travel stop. Well, after Prospect moved in and became my roommate, and we started traveling together, it wasn't too long before I found myself pondering the question, which upcoming stop, interstate exit or rest area, would be a good travel stop and best for Prospect? 